Hi, I'm Eileen McLean and I'm Chair of the Board of Trustees for IME Scotland. Thanks for your interest in our exciting plans for the next three years. Well, I'm Gary Ritchie, Assistant Chief Constable for Partnerships, Prevention and Community Wellbeing with Police Scotland. Police Scotland is really proud of the partnership that we have with IME Scotland and the work we keep safe and the development of the education packages has been absolutely first class and we're really looking forward to continuing that in the future and contributing to our growing partnership. Partnerships at Work. Our charity is built on a foundation of strong partnership working with public, private, third sector organisations and communities. Together we can make a difference and change attitudes and behaviours so that disabled and vulnerable people in Scotland can feel safe. IME Scotland was set up in 2012 as a partnership with Police Scotland to raise awareness of and tackle disability hate crime. The project received charity status in 2015 and a senior member of Police Scotland sits on the Board of Trustees. All of the charity work is based around the ethos of nothing about us without us and all of the resources are developed with children, young people and people who have direct experience. Keep Safe is police led, supported by IME Scotland and brings communities together to create a national network of keep safe places for disabled and vulnerable people to go if they are lost, scared or need help. Volunteers. Volunteers have been integral to the success of IME and are at the heart of the charity. The IME Management Committee had been involved with the setup and growth of the organisation, only recently disbanding due to the changes throughout COVID. A new volunteer working group is currently being set up and will meet bi-monthly. The Board of Trustees are all volunteers who bring a wealth of experience and knowledge from across all sectors. All Keep Safe Places and Keep Safe Ambassadors have volunteered to be part of the initiative, helping to keep Scotland safe. The IME charity is based in Renfrewshire, with office and staff support provided by Renfrewshire Council. The IME team work closely with the Renfrewshire community, disability groups and young people to design, develop and test all of the new resources. The charity will continue to work within Renfrewshire to create a local platform which helps to ensure activities and resources are structured, robust and flexible, enabling these to be replicated and shared across Scotland. Renfrewshire covers 261 square kilometre and is predominantly an urban area. Renfrewshire has a population of 177,790 people, approximately 3.3% of all people in Scotland, and is the 10th largest local authority area in Scotland. Scotland's Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service, COPFS, have been key partners since 2013. COPFS have supported both the Keep Safe initiative and the education resources since the beginning of the charity, with many education resources being co-produced. The Deputy Crown Agent is a prominent board member and the ex-Lord Advocate and Senior Judge Lord Frank Mulholland is a charity patron. The charity receives sponsorship funding from Arnold Clark. This funding provides salary support and covers the running costs for the education platform. This sponsorship has been a lifeline to the charity and is the only means of ongoing incoming funding support. Who are we and what do we do? IME Scotland was started as a community project in 2013 with the aim to tackle disability hate crime, which is affecting communities across Scotland. Our charity began as a small community group, started by a community member, our founder, in partnership with Police Scotland back in 2013. Initially established in response to a need highlighted within the local community, the project went on to achieve charity status in 2015 and now operates across Scotland. The small team are based within Renfrewshire, supported by Renfrewshire Council, and work in partnership with Police Scotland and COPFS, the Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service. The team are supported by an excellent board of trustees who bring a wealth of experience, expertise and passion from a range of backgrounds including housing, mental health, social work, education, anti-bullying, health and social care partnership, police and the Crown Office. There are two main work streams within the charity, prevention via education, IME, and intervention via community initiatives, Keep Safe. Meet the team, Carol Burt Wilson, Charity Manager and Founder, Barry O'Rourke, Development Coordinator, Kieran Kelly, Support Assistant, and Amy McClellan, Development Officer. Keep safe. 
KeepSafe is a multi-award winning partnership with Police Scotland and Communities to create a network of safe places for anyone feeling lost, scared or vulnerable when out in the community. The initiative is police-led and has a police contact in every division across Scotland. Currently, there are over 950 KeepSafe places, ranging from cafes, shops, community buildings and transport hubs. All KeepSafe places can be mapped out using the free KeepSafe Scotland app. KeepSafe cards are free for anyone who needs them. They have information about a person, including any medical conditions, communication requirements and emergency contact details. Keep Safe Scotland is an excellent example of how communities can work in partnership with Police Scotland. Keep Safe is a multi-award winning initiative that brings a network of amazing businesses and community organisations together to help create safer communities across Scotland. Keep Safe places are places you can go if you feel lost, scared or need help when out in the community. There are around a thousand Keep Safe places across Scotland. These have been checked and approved by Police Scotland and you can find them on the free Keep Safe Scotland phone app or just look out for the window sticker which will be on display in all Keep Safe places. Keep Safe cards are also available free. These cards hold information about how we can help you such as any medical conditions or communication needs and emergency contacts. This means staff in Keep Safe places can provide you with support or contact someone for you. Let's work together and make Scotland a safe place for everyone to enjoy. For more information, contact imescotland at outlook.com or speak to your local community police officer. Keep Safe Ambassadors. The Keep Safe Ambassadors programme is a full day training package that has been developed with young people and people who live with a disability. The programme is co-delivered with Police Scotland and supported by COPFS. The main aim of the training is to empower young people and disabled people to recognise and report hate crime safely. There is also a Train the Trainer programme, enabling Police Scotland officers to deliver the training in their local communities. To date, there are 1,173 ambassadors and 190 police trainers across Scotland. I am me education. Hashtag making a difference together. Early years in primary. The resources have all been developed with children and young people and begin at nursery stage through to primary seven. All resources include teacher packs and are interactive, accessible and engaging. Lesson packs are available on a range of health and wellbeing subjects such as disability, bullying, hate crime, children's rights, alcohol and substance awareness and antisocial behaviour. Secondary. Our secondary resources have all been developed with young people and people who have lived and living experience. Lesson packs include teacher's notes, links to the curriculum for excellence, and all resources required for the lesson. Lessons available include disability awareness, mental health, alcohol and substance awareness, and hate crime. All lessons are narrated by young people, supporting accessibility. You can find the I Am Me Scotland online learning platform at iammescotlanducation.org.uk. Here you will find 62 accessible lessons, 6 animated books, 13 animations, 48 films and videos, 7 Q&As and 10 life stories. The last 10 years, click on the year to find out more. 2013. I Am Me begins. 2014, Keep Safe begins. 2015, Charity Status. 2016, The Cinebus. 2017, Going National. 2018 to 19, The Queen's Awards. 2020 to 21, Education Goes National. 2022, Education Programme Extended. And 2023, Planning for the Future.
What are our plans? I am me. We plan to continue to work with children, young people and people who have life experience to further develop the national online education platform and create more inclusive, exciting, engaging and interactive resources. We will also be seeking collaborations with national organisations to further investigate, develop and produce resources tackling issues that impact on disabled and vulnerable people across Scotland. Keep safe. We plan to continue developing our partnership with Police Scotland, further extending the Keep Safe initiative across Scotland. We also plan to review the initiative to ensure that it works in synergy with national strategic priorities which aim to keep people safe. What is our aim? We aim to change attitudes and behaviours so that disabled and vulnerable people in Scotland can feel safe in their communities. C. Continue to develop the national network of Keep Safe Places. H. Harness strong partnership working to facilitate changes in attitudes and behaviours. A. Advance society's awareness of disability hate crime. N. Network with partners to influence legislative change. G. Galvanise communities to recognise and report disability hate crime. E. Educate and empower a generation of young people to challenge prejudice-based behaviour. Priority 1. Continue to develop the Keep Safe Network. AIM. We will continue to work with Police Scotland and local businesses to build on the existing framework to support the national network of Keep Safe Places, enabling disabled and vulnerable people to feel safe in their communities. Outcome. Keep Safe has an established and robust network of places across all 32 local authority areas in Scotland. What we aim to do. Continue to work with partners to review, develop and maintain the Keep Safe network. Integrate Keep Safe spot role into divisional workflow. Monitor and review the Keep Safe framework, ensuring synergy with other national initiatives such as Equally Safe. Develop Keep Safe training programs for staff, volunteers, and partners. Further develop the Keep Safe Scotland app to integrate third party reporting and accessibility options. Explore opportunities for Keep Safe partnership posts within Police Scotland. Increase focus on transport networks to encourage independent and safe travel. Seek accreditation opportunities for Keep Safe, such as BBN, SBRC, CSSC. Improve the marketing of Keep Safe, including the promotion of National Keep Safe Awareness Day. Maintain and further develop partnership relations, including the Keep Safe Champion and Charity Patron. Develop resources in accessible formats, including easy read and languages other than English. Host an annual hate crime conference in partnership with key organisations. Priority 2. Harness strong partnership working to facilitate changes in attitudes and behaviours. AIM. We will work with public, private and third sector organisations and communities to encourage safe and supportive environments for disabled and vulnerable people. Outcome. We have an extensive network of partners and organisations that we will work with collaboratively to help progress the awareness of disability hate crime. What we aim to do. Connect with key organisations to seek collaborative working approaches for the awareness of keep safe and education resources such as the Scottish Government, COSLA, HSCP, Education Scotland, etc. Connect with business chambers to ascertain local business initiatives and accreditations. Link Keep Safe and Education programmes to Police Scotland local and national scrutiny plans. Develop working relations with British Transport Police, Fire Scotland and other emergency service providers. Work in partnership with Police Scotland Youth Volunteers, Scottish Youth Parliament and Youth Organisations to progress the Keep Safe Ambassador programmes. Establish a disability focus group to collaborate with the development of new initiatives and resources. Work with Scottish Prison Service to offer disability hate crime awareness training and access to education resources. Offer training access to public, private and third sector organisations. Priority 3. Advance society's awareness of disability hate crime. AIM. We will continue to develop new and innovative ways to raise awareness of disability-related harassment and abuse, 
emphasising the effects that incidents can have on individuals and the wider community. Outcome I and me have an established and innovative inventory of activities aimed at raising awareness of disability hate crime, the effects that incidents can have, and the consequences of such attitudes and behaviours of disability hate crime. What do we aim to do? Continue to work with children, young people and disabled people to develop new, accessible educational resources for the online platform, work with key partners to market the online education platform, ensuring schools, colleges, universities and youth groups across Scotland have access. Increase social media and media presence, linking with local and national media outlets such as radio, TV and online. Deliver awareness training and information sessions in partnership with Police Scotland. Link with campus and community police to deliver training and awareness sessions. Work with local slash national TV outlet to record fly on the wall documentary. Seek representation at targeted national groups. Continue to evaluate and develop the Keep Safe Ambassador programme. Priority four, network with partners to influence legislative change. AIM, we will continue to work with Police Scotland, the Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service and other partners to seek improved legislative protection for victims of disability hate crime. Outcome, Disabled people can live life free from fear of harassment and abuse and have access to justice if they do become victim of harassment and abuse. What do we aim to do? Work with disabled people to identify barriers to reporting. Work with key partners to implement accessible information to support reporting. Work with partners to ensure relevant data is being collected. Work with Police Scotland and COPFS to review the recording of disability-related hate incidents and crimes. Map national disability hate crime trends and reporting. Attend national groups to influence policy. Priority 5. Galvanise communities to recognise and report disability hate crime. AIM. We will work with communities, partners and organisations to raise awareness of the various reporting methods and encourage the establishment of accurate recording methods for disability related harassment and abuse. Outcome. Communities know how to recognise disability hate crime and know how to report incidents to the police. Police Scotland has accessible reporting methods and accurate and robust recording of disability-related incidents and crimes. What do we aim to do? Work with disability groups, communities, young people and organisations to increase awareness of disability hate crime and reporting methods. Work with Police Scotland to improve recording of disability hate incidents and crimes. Work with key partners to develop a data gathering exercise which will enable a baseline to be established for measuring future data trends. Organise keep safe slash hate crime drop-in sessions and information stands with Police Scotland. Map national disability hate crime trends and reporting. Prepare and market Keep Safe Awareness Day programme. Priority 6. Educate and empower a generation of young people to challenge prejudice-based behaviour. AIM. Through education, we will work with families and young people to raise awareness of disability, bullying and hate crime and encourage young people to report incidents safely. Outcome Young people, disabled people and their families understand disability and know how to safely tackle bullying and prejudice-based behaviour. What do we aim to do? Continue to work with children, young people and people with lived and living experience to design and develop new education resources. Work with Education Scotland to integrate the education resources into the curriculum. Link the Ambassador Programme with the Police Scotland Youth Volunteer Training Programme and the Scottish Youth Parliament Training. Work with the Community Learning Development Teams to train Keep Safe Ambassadors and co-deliver awareness campaigns. Work with youth groups to develop materials for the education platform that are relevant to them using their skills and contacts, for example, IT, filming and podcasts. Develop a parent slash carers slash groups online resources. 
relaunch and evaluate the Keep Safe Kids app. What is hate crime? Hate crime is behaviour which is both criminal and rooted in prejudice. Hate crime is any crime which is perceived by the victim or any other person to be motivated by malice or ill will based on a person's perceived disability, race, religion, sexual orientation, or transgender identity. These are the five strands of hate crime. Preventing it has become a key priority within our increasing diverse communities. Disability hate crime is when someone is targeted because of their disability, someone perceives them to have a disability, or they are targeted because someone they know, like a friend or family member, that has a disability. You do not have to be disabled to be the target of disability hate crime. Disability hate crime is recognised nationally as one of the most underreported crimes in the UK. This is partly because many disabled people have come to accept abuse and harassment as part of normal daily life, but also many people who are witness to incidents of abuse and harassment are unsure how and where to report it. Statistics in Scotland. One in five people in Scotland identify as having a disability, but only 4% of reported hate crime is disability hate crime. One in five disabled Scots have experienced harassment because of their disability. Children with special education needs are twice as likely as other children to be bullied regularly. One million people in Scotland are classed as having a disability or living with a long-term illness. Two in three of people have experienced a mental health problem. There is an estimated one million and twelve thousand people in Scotland with some degree of hearing loss. Welcome to the IME Scotland Board of Trustees. We currently have nine trustees on the board. Eileen McLean, Chair, Ruth McQuaid, Vice Chair, Anne McMillan, Treasurer, Lorraine Glass, Secretary, Divisional Commander at PPCW, Mark Shepherd, Trustee, Roddy Newbiggin, Trustee, Billy Burke, Trustee, Samuel Curran, Trustee. Huge thanks to all of our staff, our volunteers, our board members and all of our stakeholders for helping us to make a difference in Scotland.